The Adventure of Little Red Laughing Hood Once upon a time, in a land filled with giggling trees and dancing flowers, there lived a little girl named Little Red Laughing Hood. Why, Laughing Hood? Well, because she loved to laugh, and her laughter was as sweet as jingle bells. Little Red Laughing Hood wore a bright red cloak with a hood that made her look like a walking cherry. One sunny day, her mommy, who baked the yummiest cookies in the whole wide world, said, Dear Red, your grandma isn't feeling too chirpy. Could you hop, skip, and jump through the woods to take her these warm, chocolatey cookies? Red was thrilled. She filled her basket with cookies that smelled like happiness and set off on her adventure, promising to stay on the giggly path and not talk to any strangers, especially not to any sneaky, tickly trees or chatty, wobbly rocks. But oh, who should she meet but a big, bad wolf with a grin as wide as a banana peel? This wolf didn't want to scare anyone. He was just terribly curious about the smell of cookies and laughter. Hello, Little Red Laughing Hood, said the wolf, trying to sound as friendly as a bowl of jelly. Where are you off to with that basket of giggle-inducing goodies? To my grandma's, giggled Red, forgetting her promise for a moment, because honestly, who could resist talking about cookies? The wolf, who was more silly than scary, had a light bulb moment, though light bulbs hadn't been invented yet. He dashed to grandma's house, not to do anything mean, but to surprise them with the world's first ever cookie-eating competition. By the time Red got to Grandma's house, she found the wolf dressed in Grandma's nightcap and glasses, looking quite ridiculous. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have, she laughed. All the better to see your beautiful smile, my dear, the wolf giggled back. And what big ears you have, Red chortled. All the better to hear your wonderful laughter, my dear, the wolf chuckled. And what big teeth you have. Red howled with laughter. All the better to eat. Cookies with, my dear, roared the wolf. And out jumped Grandma from the cupboard, wearing a judge's hat for the cookie-eating contest. They laughed and laughed and had the best time ever, munching cookies and telling stories. From that day on, the big, not-so-bad wolf was their friend, and they all lived happily, laughingly, ever after, sharing cookies and chuckles in the heart of the giggling woods. And the moral of the story? Always share your cookies, and laughter makes the best bridge to friendship. <laughs>